how DXT compression works is that it divides the image into four by four blocks. And then for each block, it finds two most important colors or two most important color channels. We will stop right there because we see a problem that we cannot be dependent on only two channels because our normal X, Y, Z is stored in R, G and B channel which are three color channels. So what we will try to do here is we will try to use only two channels. And how we will do that? One thing we know about the normal value is that it's a normalized vector value, which means if it is a normalized vector value, its magnitude is one. And if we have the magnitude of the vector and we have x and y, we can easily calculate z using Pythagorean theorem, which gives us that we can use only two channels and we can determine or we can find the value of the third channel. So we will read r and g channel and we will ignore the z value because we know that in the tangent space on an average the z is always facing forward so we will use r and g channel and we will ignore b channel and we will calculate the z value based on x y which are given to us by r and g channel so by ignoring one channel and calculating it manually in the shader, we achieved the goal. But later we realized that the quality of normal compression is even better if we are dependent on only one color channel. So for the sake of quality, we have to get rid of one more color channel. And how we can do that is we will use the green channel and we will shift the R channel to the alpha channel. So in that way we will be dependent on only one color channel and one alpha channel. And this shifting of the channel and ignoring the blue channel, Unity does that for us already. So Unity will take care of this part. What we will have to take care is how we read these channels properly in our shader. This is one of the trickiest chapter of this complete series, but I can promise you one thing that this is the most concise and the easiest explanation you will get on the internet anywhere. So let's revise the chapter. What we have done so far is the goal of our shader will be to get the world space normal and we will be reading the normal map which is in the tangent space and then we will con create a tbn matrix and the tbn matrix that we will convert will be based on the world space normal we will read the normal value from the mesh we will read the tangent value from the mesh and then we will multiply the object space normal value with the inverse of model matrix to transform it to the world space normal values because we want to avoid the skewing problem or the normal shifting problem that happens because normals are orthogonal to the mesh surface. This problem doesn't happen with the tangents because they are along the surface. And that is the reason why we will just use the model matrix, not the inverse of model matrix, to transform object space tangent into world space tangent. Then another input is the normal map. We embed the normal XYZ value in the RGB channel, and the color range in Unity shader is from 0 to 1. It's not from 0 to 255, it's from 0 to 1. And the range of the normal is from negative 1 to 1, 
So we will shift the range by multiplying the channel value with 2 and subtracting 1 from it. Then we will also take care of the DXT compression in our shader and we will also determine Z value 